I'm Karen Stangroom and welcome to Conquer Crochet. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the herringbone stitch. So the herringbone stitch gets its name from this diagonal line that you can see. If you think about um, herringbone flooring then you get that sort of diagonal effect. So it's sort of replicating that idea there. It is a simple one row repeated pattern that you just work back and forth. It is therefore the same on the front as it is on the back. So you get this sort of diagonal line here and then a little bit of straight and then a diagonal, a little bit of straight. So this straight bit here is where you're working the diagonal on the other side. It's a nice dense fabric, would make a really nice hat, scarf, you could use it for blankets, you could use it for dishcloths, it really is quite a versatile stitch and there aren't many holes in it so if you did want to use this one for a baby blanket that would be really suitable as well. So let's have a look at the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm using a Stylecraft Aran, I think this was the colourway Raspberry. Uh, I have a 5mm hook so you can use whichever yarn you like and the corresponding hook to go with that yarn. I have a pair of scissors to cut off my end and an easel to sew in my ends. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And for this pattern we don't need to have a particular multiple in our foundation chain, it's multiples of one plus an extra one at the end for turning. So you're going to make your foundation chain as wide as you want your piece of work to be or your sample if you're working a sample with me and then just one more for your extra turn. So yarn over, pull through the slip knot and we've made our first chain and keep doing that all the way up. So I've got five chains on my hook at the moment. I'm going to go up to 15. So pause the video now whilst you make your foundation chain. Now whilst you make your foundation chain. So I have my 15 chains. I'm going to do one more as my turning chain so that I know that my piece will be 15 wide. So I'm going to be working with 15 stitches. So we are going to do our first stitch in the third chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook, so that's one, two, three. And we're going to work in there by yarning over, inserting into the chain, yarn over, pull through the chain, and you have three loops on your hook. You're going to pull through the first one on your hook to leave two loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through those two loops and that is your first stitch. So this is a half treble version. You can do this with a treble version as well but for now I'm just going to do the half treble. So yarn over into the next chain, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Without yarning over pull through that first loop you have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two. So I'll show you one more time. So yarn over, insert into the chain, yarn over and pull through and pull through the first loop on your hook. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two. So continue working down the row doing exactly the same stitch as I've just shown you and I will see you at the end of the row. So pause the video now. So I'm just coming up to my last stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the two and you can tighten up your tail. So for the next row, we're going to chain two and we're going to turn our work throughout your work, the chain two that you did as part of your turning chain and the chain two, sorry, at the start of every row counts. So when it counts, we don't work into this first gap here. 
we work into the second one so not working into this stitch here we're going to do exactly the same as we did in row one yarn over insert making sure we're going through both parts of the stitch yarn over pull through pull through the first loop yarn over pull through the two loops so again insert through both parts of the stitch yarn over pull through and pull through the first loop yarn over pull through the two loops and we're going to do this all the way down the row and I will join you at the end of the row to show you what we need to do in the last stitch so pause the video now whilst you work to the end of row two so in the last stitch we're going to work another herringbone but into that two chain from the previous row so yarn over going into the top of that stitch yarn over pull through and pull through the first one on your hook yarn over pull through the two so what you can see now is you get a sort of a straight line and a diagonal line and it will start to look the same on both sides obviously you get a diagonal in the place where the straight is and you get a straight stitch where the diagonal is so chain two one two remember that chain two counts so we're not working into that first stitch and we just work another row of the herringbone stitch so we chain two that chain two doesn't count so we're not working into this gap here we yarn over and work our herringbone stitch into the next stitch and we just do that all the way down the row just working back and forth doing exactly the same stitch remembering to go into the two chain at the end so I'm just going to work up a few more rows for you to see what it looks like so I've worked up a few more rows so you can see how it looks with the, the zigzag but I just wanted to show you how you could do it with a treble crochet so I've got exactly the same number of stitches here and again we're going to work in the third chain from the hook so I've done my extra stitch let me just check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 16 is my extra one and I'm working in the third chain from the hook so not the one on the hook, one, two, three. So this time I'm going to yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through the first one on your hook, yarn over, pull through the next one on your hook, yarn over, pull through the two. So the next one is yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on your hook, pull through the first loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one, then yarn over, pull through two. So you're getting a much taller stitch than you are on the next one. So let me just work up this row. So that's the end of row one and you do exactly the same, you chain two exactly the same way that chain two still counts so you're not going to work into the first gap so you're going to work into the second one in the same way as before, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through pull through one loop, yarn over, pull through one loop yarn over, pull through two loops, so you're just adding that extra yarn over, pull through one but it gives you a taller stitch so I'm going to work up a few more rows of this for you to see how it looks compared with the half treble version. So I will see you in a second. So looking at these two side by side, the stitch on the green one is definitely longer than the stitch on the, um, the pink one. So I just bring that up to the camera, you can see there. that the size is a lot bigger so depending what sort of effect you want and whether or not you want to get through your work quicker you could use the half treble version or you could use the treble version 
and obviously the chunkier your yarn the quicker it's going to work up as well. One of the other things I noticed with the treble version is the sort of the indent here between the rows seems to be more prominent than it is the indent between the rows on the pink one. So it is a slightly different effect but essentially it's the same stitch you're just adding that extra yarn over pull through the first loop on the green one on the treble version. So that's how to do the herringbone stitch. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have please give it a thumbs up. It really does help other crocheters to see the channel and for them to go further on their crochet journey. If you haven't done so already and you'd like to please consider subscribing. It is free to do so and you can unsubscribe at any time. I will put two videos on the screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!